south of Birmingham. So this is the area of concern right here. The Weather Service has been watching that, and there's evidence we've got fairly decent circulation, at least at radar beam height, near the Bibb-Shelby County line. This is Bibb County, and this is Shelby County. This does not include Centerville or Brent. This does include the I-65 and US-31 corridor from the southern part of Hoover, the Shelby County part of Hoover, all the way down to near Calera and the Shelby County Airport. The downtown Calera is here. Alabaster is here. Shelby County Airport would be about right in through here. So this is this would include places like Helena, Pelham, Alabaster, the southern part of Hoover, the Shelby County part of Hoover. It does not include Highway 280 over here. This is the 280 corridor. Uh, this does include areas down toward Columbiana uh, and then back over to Alabaster. So this is a tornado warning that will be in effect for that part of Shelby County until 9:45 this evening uh, for about the next 40 minutes or so uh, we have a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado that uh, was east of West Blockton that is moving to the northeast at 50 miles an hour. So uh, this is the situation. I know it's a school night. I know it's not easy, but this is where we're going to ask people to go to your tornado safe place right now if you are in this polygon. Uh, and again, you can see strong evidence of a tornadic circulation here. We don't expect this to be a long track, long lasting tornado, but we've got very clear evidence of a tornado in this area right here. The possible tornado again is sitting just really below Tannehill State Park. Tannehill State Park is here. This is Tuscaloosa County. This is Jefferson. This does not include any part of Jefferson County, though, any part of Tuscaloosa County. This is for far eastern Bibb and much of Shelby County. And again, this will include some pretty densely populated suburbs of Birmingham. Again, this is, will include places like Helena, Pelham, Alabaster, Maylene, and also includes the southern part of Hoover, the Hoover part that is in Shelby County. We are in Hoover in River Chase here at ABC 3340, and we are in the Polygon. We're basically in the far northeastern corner, which is located right here. This does not include Montevallo, which is here. This is Moore's Crossroads on Highway 119 going south out of Alabaster. Highway 119 goes down here to Montevallo. And again, downtown Calera is here. It really, the Polygon begins at about the Shelby County Airport, the Shelby County Airport exit it, then back up to the Jefferson Shelby County line. So that's your polygon. And again, it is night. We cannot show this tornado to you live on television. I wish we could. It is rain wrapped. It is in a large mass of rain, but it could be there and it could create some damage. We have had storms like this tonight that have produced damage in other parts of the state. But again, we're getting a very good indication of a possible tornado located right here, sitting on the Shelby Bibb County line, moving northeast at about 50 miles an hour. And this will be moving through the southern suburbs of Birmingham that are in northern Shelby County. And again, to get your bearings straight, that's Interstate 459 right here. That's Alabama Highway 150 right here that runs back over to uh, Hoover and US 31. This is Highway 31 here. That's Interstate 65 here. I know a lot of you are listening by radio. Our Summit Media Partners simulcast our programming, WZZK and their sister stations when this happens. So we'll try and be verbal and descriptive when we talk about this because we don't people want what people in their cars. So in speaking of that, we obviously would not encourage anyone to be traveling on U.S. Highway 31 or Interstate 65 between Interstate 459 and Calera over the next 30 to 45 minutes. Uh, we would prefer that you just wait. And I know that's the last thing people want to do in a driving rain is to sit and wait, but it's the best thing to do because this is going to be a rain wrapped tornado and uh, you don't want to be involved in that in a car. That's the worst possible place to be. And again, we're going to watch this again. The circulation is basically exclusively into Shelby County. So for Bibb County, we can give you an all clear. This was for a very, very small part of Bibb County, West Blockton, Centerville, Brent. There's no danger to you. This is moving exclusively into Shelby County. And again, the circulation here will keep on moving to the uh, northeast. So what we'll do is show some of the uh, communities in the path of this and give you some approximate arrival times. And don't take these to the bank. Just understand if you're in that polygon, the best thing to do is to be in a safe place. Small room, lowest floor, near the center, and away from windows. And again, we're watching the spot right back here. Uh, where we have the greatest chance of a possible tornado. And again, that's now into uh, Bibb County. Or I'm sorry, into Shelby County. Bibb County, we can pretty much give you an all clear 
on that. Uh, we'll take a, a storm track here. And again, this is going to be moving at about 50 miles an hour. These are some of the approximate arrival times. Uh, for the communities in the path of this. And again, notice Cherokee Beach, which is in part of Helena, that's at 922. Uh, we've got Navajo Pines and Alabaster at 924. So this will be coming up on the densely populated uh, communities of Helena, Pelham, Alabaster, generally between about uh, uh, 920 and 930 tonight, based on that forward motion. The best possible scenario here is the fact that this thing, it, it doesn't uh, stay down for long. And the tornadoes that we have seen tonight have been fairly short-lived. Uh, they've not been down for a long time. And again, I don't think this will be down for a long time as well. But again, you can clearly see that uh, we've got evidence of uh, storm circulation that still looks pretty good on radar here, uh, right in through this zone right here. And uh, again, this is in uh, far western Shelby County. And that will be coming up toward Helena, Pelham, southern part of Hoover, uh, maybe Alabaster, uh, Saginaw, all of these places are in the Polygon, Maylene. Uh, and uh, if you're in any of these communities we've called out, including Helena, you've got to be sure and be sheltered. I know it's the last thing you want to do uh, at uh, 913 on a weeknight since it is a school night, but it's the right thing to do. And in that safe place, we prefer for people to have on a helmet. Uh, most people that are seriously injured in a tornado, it typically involves blunt force trauma to the head, the skull, and the neck region. And uh, we would like for people to have that helmet on. That really reduces your chance of being hurt. I, I know it looks silly, but have some fun with it. That's all you can do. And this is not just for children. This is for adults as well. So in that small bathroom, a hall, a closet, we want you wearing that helmet. And we are thankful for the people that are doing that because that's the right thing to do. And it's really great to see so many people sending in photographs of them in helmets. But again, this uh, circulation will be coming right through these uh, densely populated communities here in Shelby County. I hope in 10 minutes I can tell you this thing is dissipated and the warning is canceled, but that probably will not happen within 10 minutes. So again, uh, the Weather Service has totally dropped Bibb out of the warning, uh, like we've talked about. If you're in Bibb County and all clear, there was never a large part of Bibb County involved in this. This is basically now for northern Shelby County. We've got a possible tornado south of Tannehill State Park, right in through here, that will be moving like this. Uh, this is County Road 13. This runs from Green Pond back over to County Road 52 in Helena. A lot of folks uh, use this as kind of a shortcut to uh, Tuscaloosa for people that live here in Shelby County. And the tornado seems to be in a position where it wants to go right down Shelby County Highway 13 coming out of uh, Bibb County. So especially if you're anywhere near that well-traveled highway, Shelby County Highway 13, uh, be sheltered. Uh, and again, we don't want people in a mobile home. And I know it's so inconvenient, but you need to go to your designated shelter or just a, a gas station, a, a fast food place that's open, any site built structure that offers better protection. So again, the greatest concern would be right along this road right here. But again, everybody in the Polygon needs to stay sheltered because we all in this state respect the Polygon. Uh, this is U.S. Highway 31 right here. That's Interstate 65. Uh, you've got Pelham here, Alabaster here. This is Helena. Helena's uh, you know, grown so rapidly, but this whole area right in here is Helena. And uh, the southern part of Hoover is right in through here. Uh, Indian Springs Village, that's down uh, Highway 119 and Valleydale Road. And the Polygon does not extend over to U.S. Highway 280. Want to make that perfectly clear. So if you're on that 280 corridor, this does not affect you. We'll watch this carefully, but it will not affect you. And one more point, I wanted to mention that the uh, Weather Service canceled the tornado warning for Perry County earlier. That did not last long. And we are hoping that this does not last long. And we don't expect it to do that. But technically, the warning will stay in effect until 945 this evening. Uh, so again, everybody along County Road 13, uh, Shelby County Road 13 right here, that's the greatest concern. That's where you want to be sheltered. The other issue, it's going to be flooding. We have a number of counties in Alabama under flash flood warnings tonight. Some spots have gone over four inches west of Birmingham and parts of Tuscaloosa County, parts of Sumter and Greene counties. And this will also feature some very, very heavy amounts of rain. But don't go out and look for this. That's almost boneheaded. I mean, it's going to be pouring rain. You can't see anything. You might hear something if there's a tornado down, no doubt about that. 
but you're not going to be able to see anything. A lot of people have that attitude, and here in this state, you just can't see a lot of these tornadoes. So again, that's uh, the greatest concern. It's the northern section of this polygon, and this thing will be getting into Helena. All of this you see right in here. This is part of the city of Helena, and then ultimately it's going to be crossing out here toward uh, U.S. Highway 31. Uh, there's some similarities to the track of the March 25th tornado that came through. We're not exactly the same, but, uh, but just be aware of that. And uh, again, at one point we had a lower uh, CC, correlation coefficient, and that is gone. And as you can see, it looks with each volume scan more disorganized. And again, I really don't think we'll be here that long. And I know that we've got hundreds, if not thousands of people sheltered right now. And I'm hoping that we can give you an all clear in a matter of minutes. And I think that will be the case because you can see that we've lost our tornado signature here. And more than likely, we did have a tornado down and it still might be there, but not really looking like that. But it could re-intensify. Understand, sometimes we have had these storms that have been cyclic this evening. They'll drop a tornado. They become occluded. The tornado goes away, but then they get going again. And uh, so we'll see if that uh, happens. So what the Weather Service will do, they'll watch each volume scan coming from the Weather Service radar. And we're getting a good sample at this. We're getting a good low sample. The Shelby County Airport radar is awfully close. In fact, it's just sitting right there. That's the radar site. So we're going to keep an eye on this, but the good news, it looks as though it's much more disorganized at this point. Uh, so I'm going to step back and uh, going to take a look at our correlation coefficient product. The, this is our debris tracker, as we call it, and this is where we look for items that are being lofted by a tornado. And uh, more than likely, uh, that is all gone uh, at this point. In fact, uh, let me look at the reflectivity real quick. This is what the rain looks like, and it's just absolutely pouring. I mean, it is e raining extremely heavily in this zone here. Uh, this is going to be the shear rate. This is the shear swath, and you can see the path of that uh, higher shear, the rotation coming through extreme eastern bib and far western counties. Uh, but again, uh, looking at the velocity here, that is certainly not a tornado signature at this point, and that's a good thing. This is the uh, debris tracker. Again, we're just not seeing much evidence on this in terms of uh, a swath. Uh, and I think that certainly is a good sign. So it looks like we might have had a tornado down for a brief moment. We're not seeing any lowered uh, correlation coefficient within that zone. Uh, and again, the uh, velocity display here suggests that we just have some strong winds. So hopefully we'll be able to uh, drop the warning and people can go about their business. I know the kids need to get to bed. There's a lot of things that are happening here at uh, 920 at night, but it is what it is. This is March in Alabama. This is when this stuff happens. Days like today are, are very common in this state, especially in March and April. Our tornado season runs from November through May, by the way. But uh, our big months are March, April, November. Those are the three really big months, and we're right in the middle of that. So we've got a, a cluster of heavier storms in the western part of Shelby County with potential for strong straight line winds at the moment. We have totally lost the tornado signature. It's gone. Uh, there is not a tornado at the moment, but there's a chance it might ramp back up. And so accordingly, the Weather Service, what they'll do is leave it up for a few minutes and watch the next several volume scans. And if we continue to see that type of signature, they'll cancel that. That's what they did with the warning for Hale and Perry about 20 minutes ago. And more than likely, they will do that uh, as well. Um, and again, I'm watching for reports, and I do not see any reports of damage from Shelby County or from Bibb County, uh, which is a good thing. Quite frankly, a lot of the traffic we're seeing is coming from the major tornado in downtown New Orleans tonight. At the uh, Ninth Ward, there's been major damage there and uh, a lot of issues, uh, but I'm not seeing any reports of damage from uh, Shelby County. In fact, I've seen no reports of any damage from Shelby County. We're watching our Sky Watcher chat on Slack. We're watching the weather service chat sessions and all the social media platforms and things are relatively quiet, which is good. Uh, so we have a tornado warning in effect for the southern suburbs of Birmingham. This is for northern Shelby County. It does not include US 280, which is over here. It does include US 31 from the Jefferson County line. That would be the southern part of the city of Hoover down to about Saginaw. That's the far southern part of the city of Alabaster. It includes Interstate 65 in the same zone. And again, we've been watching this part of it. Again, this is Shelby County Highway 13. This is where the greatest circulation has been. Uh, and again, Highway 13 runs from Helena over to Green Pond in Bibb County. A lot of people 
use that as kind of a quick way to get to Tuscaloosa, not having to travel on the interstates up and through here. But we're just not seeing much. And again, the, the stronger wind velocities are coming into Helena as we speak. They'll be coming through Pelham, Alabaster, and the southern part of the city of Hoover. But uh, for now, we're just not seeing a tornado signature here. Uh, good news, the Weather Service has canceled the flash flood warning for Green and Sumter. For those of you on the western side of the state, the rains have tapered off and the uh, flood threat has diminished there. The warning continues in effect, though, for Tuscaloosa. That's a flash flood warning. And really, uh, of the hazards we're dealing with tonight, this is a multiple hazard night. The greatest concern, it's really flooding. And hopefully, we can cancel this tornado warning here in a matter of minutes. So if you're just joining us, it's uh, 9-23. I'm James Spann. We are on the air because of a tornado warning in effect for northern parts of Shelby County. Uh, this is the polygon here. This does not include the city of Birmingham. It does not include any part of Jefferson County. This is exclusively an issue for Shelby County. And again, what I'll do, I want to show the uh, kind of the big picture because for a lot of you, it's just pouring rain tonight. And that's basically what we have with the exception of this one polygon. I'll uh, show the uh, whole area here and you can see that it is just raining to beat the band in so many areas. Uh, heavy rain falling in the western suburbs of Birmingham, down into western Shelby County, Bibb County, Perry County, uh, parts of Marengo County, Demopolis down to Linden. Uh, and flooding is a concern. Flash flood warnings in effect still for all of Tuscaloosa County. Uh, the rain is beginning in uh, Gadsden. Uh, we've got uh, rain, light rain falling in Anniston. The heavier rain is moving on to the east. The really heavy rain will be starting in downtown Birmingham uh, fairly soon. But what I want to do, Dennis, if we can check the SkyCam network, I want to go to the uh, Galleria Tower SkyCam. Uh, this is the camera that's on top of Galleria Tower. And what I'm going to do is pan the camera off to the left. This Now we're looking north toward Jefferson County. Down below, that's Interstate 59. Uh, we're going to be looking west here in a moment, back over toward the horizon. We're basically going to look southwest. And again, I'm telling you, we're not going to see anything. And if you're looking for a tornado, it's not going to happen. Number one, I don't think a tornado is there. Uh, but again, this is uh, what it looks like from a top gallery of tower tonight. And it's absolutely pouring. And because of that, the visibility is extremely restricted. And we're just not going to be able to see much. Uh, sometimes at night you can see uh, features with the lightning strikes like that that you just saw. But it's just going to be tough to do. So let's go back to the radar. And again, that is the reflectivity. We'll go back to the velocity product. And uh, again, uh, it looks as though the Weather Service has canceled that warning. All right, while well, I was over here looking at the sky cam, I think they've done that, and that's the right thing to do. You don't want to keep people in shelters where they don't need to be in shelters. Let me confirm that, and uh, they have. So the Weather Service has canceled the tornado warning for northern Shelby County. We have no tornado warning. You can get out of the closet. You can get out of the bathroom. You can get out of the hallway, get out of the basement. We have no tornado warning in effect. The tornado has dissipated, and there is now no tornado warning in effect for Shelby County. So again, you're good to go. Now, if something changes, we'll come back. The next planned update I'll have is at 10 o'clock. That's in our 10 o'clock news in about 35 minutes. But again, we stress the tornado warning for Shelby County has been canceled. The warning is over. There is no tornado danger at this point. The concern, heavy rain and flooding. We will see you in 35 minutes at 10. I'm James Spann, live in the ABC 3340 Weather Center.